Hello, future knights. My name is Michelle Vesprini Jordan, and I am one of the guidance counselors here at St. Thomas More. I have the privilege and pleasure of walking you through the selection process for all the courses you're going to study next year as a knight. It is not a difficult process. I have a fun, as fun as it can be, slide presentation for you to follow. So come along and let's get this done. See you next year, St. Thomas More. Okay, so here we are. Hi, you're not going to see me the whole time, but I thought I'd, I'd greet you and let you know that we are doing this together. Uh, welcome to St. Thomas More's course selection. It is uh, a long tradition to walk you through this process, and with um, modern technology now, we can do this virtually. Enjoy the show. We are under a complete lockdown and your anxieties we know are running high. Whether we are in a pandemic or not, students are always nervous and excited about entering high school. We get it, we understand. The confusion is something that we will work through with you. And we are here for you. You are not alone, never, ever, ever. Our course selection information allows you to choose a path to your own success and notice we've got all kinds of pathways depicted in this photograph. It's important that we lean on our teachers' recommendations. They are based on assessments. They are objective. So please know that your teacher, your classroom teacher right now, is helping you achieve the best you can. Keep this in mind. If you're achieving less than 75%, the recommendation is normally an applied level, an applied stream. Achieving more than 75% in your grade eight year, the teacher will most likely recommend that you study at the academic level. And then finally, we have achievement that's dependent on modifications in every course. Normally, the recommendation will be locally developed and your teacher will be in close communication with our special resource team here at St. Thomas More. A few other terms and codes. When we start to look at our course codes, you will notice a letter that is really important for you to identify. When you see the O, it indicates an open level course that all students are eligible to study. The P in the course code refers to the applied level. Uh, this leads to the senior grade level courses that is college bound. D is an academic indicator leading to the university level courses in the senior years. And L is our locally developed, which leads to the E indicator for workplace. We're going to try one out. Here is your example, HRE 101. How do we read this course? Our example is going to be grade nine religion. The first three digits indicate the subject and the department, humanities, religion, and then you will also see that we've got a grade and a year indicated by the first number. So the fourth digit will always be the grade level. One is grade nine, two represents grade 10, three represents grade 11, and four grade 12. Then if we look at the fifth digit, you will see that this is the level of instruction. In the previous screen, we saw that the O indicates an open level. There is no other level applied academic locally developed. All students will study open religion in grade nine. The final digit is usually an in-school digit that you don't have to pay too much attention to. However, if it does not have a one or a seven or even a nine and it has a letter, that letter indicates an English learning level. 
if you are someone that is studying at the English as a second language level, you will look for some courses with the six digit as an L. Let's try a few of these examples together. So we've got English. Well, actually, I'm going to let them slide up. You're going to try and identify what these ones are. But I gave the first one away. So the first three digits tell us that it's English. It's grade nine because the fourth digit is a one. The fifth digit is a D, which means it's academic. Next level or next uh, uh, course is math, grade nine. L for locally developed. Now we've got Canadian geography. That's right, grade nine with the one. P for applied. Our fourth example is science. Grade nine, P for applied. Take a look at the sixth digit. Only for those that are studying English as a second language. Finally, we have exploring technologies, again grade nine, O for open, and voila. So, few questions that are asked uh, often and we welcome any question. Does every course have to be the same stream level? No, it does not. P please, again, pay very close attention to your teacher recommendations. M can I switch from one level in grade nine to a different level in grade 10? Yes, you can. And we will discuss further once you have achieved a certain level of success in your grade nine year. Can I switch streams if I find it too hard or too easy in grade nine? Yes, you may. There are cutoff dates and times because we surely don't want you to miss a, a, a large number of uh, curriculum days in the course that you are moving into. Key terms. We've got Prerequisite, which is an earned credit in a previous course that is required before you study the next course. Compulsory refers to mandatory courses for graduation purposes and electives are just that. They are interest-based courses, for example, phys ed art construction. Now, what do I need to graduate? I know you're only in grade nine, but we start working on that as soon as you begin your first day of school. Actually, to be honest, in the summer leading up to your first day of school in grade nine, you can begin to work on your 40 hours of Christian service. So Yes, in the summer, you may begin to look for some volunteer, safe volunteer um, opportunities, and they will count towards the 40 hours of Christian service. And that, of course, is right down on the bottom of this diagram. W let's go back to the top. 18 compulsory credits are what need to be earned before you are eligible to graduate along with 12 elective credits. You have a package that will outline every course that we offer as well as online when I get you to the Path to Success site. You will also be able to see all of the courses that we offer, both compulsory and elective. And finally, the Grade 10 Provincial Literacy Test must be passed and there are other um, ways in which you can earn your literacy credit if we are not successful in writing this literacy test. Again, we can talk further about that in later grades. What are our compulsory credits? Well, let's take a look. You need four English credits before you graduate. We need three math credits and one of those credits must be in grade 11. It does not matter what level one is studying at any of these, as long as you earn the credit. We need two science credits. You need one Canadian history and one Canadian geography. 
you need one French credit earned in grade nine. We offer more grade level French. Many students go through their entire high school year studying French. We also are required to earn one credit in art and one credit in health and physical education. Then there is a half credit that is earned in both career studies and civics. We clump both of these courses together to earn the equivalent of one full credit. So half of the semester or half of the term would be career studies and the other half would be civics. Plus an additional credit in each of these groups, group one, group two, group three, again, in your package, you will see all of this outlined. I'll just give you a moment to have a, a, a look. Elective course options for grade nine students. The following list of courses are all of the elective courses you may choose from for your grade nine year. A maximum of two electives will be allotted for your selection process. Drama, music, wind instruments. We have keyboard piano. We have vocals. We have dance, visual arts, business communication technology, girls health and physical education, boys health and physical education, and exploring technologies. What are your next steps at this point? Well, there's a few things that you have to ensure that you have on you. First, you need to access the internet. Second, you need your teacher recommendations with you in the, as you pursue the selection process. And finally, your own selected courses on paper. We are providing in this package and online a sheet that looks much like this, although it's not highlighted the way I kind of scribbled all over it, um, just to get your attention. What you are going to be able to do is use this planning chart because in grade nine, and you'll also see in grade 10, most of the subjects are already chosen for you. You must study religion. You must study English. You must study math science, Canadian geography, and French. What you are going to do is you are going to decide in conversation with your parents and your teacher what stream level you are going to study each of these courses at. I suggest using this planning chart and highlighting the D for academic, the P for applied, the L for locally developed before you log into the MyPath site. Notice points seven and eight are blank. You can choose two of those electives, phys ed and exploring technologies, for example. You're going to create a MyPath account and we want you to go to pathtosuccess.ca you're going to click on course selections at the top of this page along that banner. Once you hit course selections, you then need to select the school and you are going to click on St. Thomas More Catholic Secondary School. Don't forget that you haven't logged in yet, so you must register first. So click that register button first and then it will take you to the next page, the registration page. What do you need? You need student ID or your OEN. Both can be found on a previous report card. Both your OEN and your ID will not change, especially your OEN. When you type in your numbers, follow this format. For student ID, no dashes. 
just go straight through with your student identification number. With your OEN, after every three digits, you must input a hyphen, a dash, just as depicted here. Email, it's your school email address that you must put in. So frequently, it's the first seven letters of your last name, then your next two letters of your first name, and then three, your last three digits of your student ID. All right, password, eight characters. Once you click submit, you're gonna go to that email account and activate your profile. Once you log in, then you're going to select from this banner, school courses. This page will show up and you're going to select the department for the requested courses. As an example, we've put here, we've got history and geography department when you select Canadian geography. Don't forget that religion is to be taken every year. Okay, so have a look at the grade levels. We are going to be looking at courses offered in grade nine. Click the course that you want. This one in particular, religion, religious education, HRE 101. You're going to be given a course detail of what the course offers. The things that we'd like for you to pay close attention to is first, you're going to select add to backpack. You're building a backpack of courses. The other important thing for you to note is the title of the subject, the grade and its stream level. And finally, whether there's a prerequisite or not. In grade nine, we're not going to have to worry about that, but I still want to um, encourage you to familiarize yourself with all of the different pieces of information on this. Okay, so what it's going to take you to is the, the page where you get to review your selections after each one that you select. You're going to go back, to, it'll take you to this page, and I want you to note a couple of items. Make sure your course code reflects the actual subject that you think that you wanted to study. Check grade. Notice the selection is for a grade 10 drama class. That would be considered an error for a grade nine student. So what we do with that is we go to the delete button and we press on the delete button. It's that simple to remove a course. All right, so don't sweat it, don't worry, we got you. We as guidance counselors can also correct any errors that may have been missed. So we don't want you to stress out about that. When completed all of your selections, you will be taken to your final page, which is your pathways to success, yours to choose is going to be the title. It is a copy of your backpack. You will have not only religion, but seven more courses on that page. And this is one of the pages there it is, your backpack. This is one of the pages that you're going to submit with your registration package. As I mentioned here, along with your teacher recommendation forms, your signed registration form and a receipt from Cash Online for your paid registration fee of $45. The week of March 1st is when we will be going to each school to collect completed packages, signed option sheet, printed off, signed registration form, school cash online receipt for $45 for your activity fee, and a teacher recommendation form. All four must be in that package. Otherwise, we will not collect, and you'll have to make the trip to St. Thomas More to drop off that completed package. 
Well, St. Thomas More Knights to Be, this is the end. You did it. I thank you for your time. We are always here to help. And as the note says, we look forward to welcoming you as a knight come September. Have a great day, everyone. Thanks for watching. And now we're going to take you on a virtual tour of our school. Behind me is my backdrop in my office. I like to think that I'm on vacation every day. Enjoy. Hello, grade nines and welcome. On behalf of Hamilton Wentworth Catholic District School Board, we want to take you on a tour of St. Thomas More High School. This tour will explore the various parts of the building, as well as the available supports for you as you begin your journey into high school. The mission of the HWCDSB in union with our Bishop is to enable all learners to realize the fullness of humanity of which our Lord Jesus Christ is the model. A school community is much more than just a physical space. Here at STM, you will learn and grow anchored in the Catholic faith. And as you experience a vibrant school community that offers a wide range of academic and extracurricular opportunities. Many of you are excited to begin your journey into high school. You may also be feeling a little anxious because you are unsure of what to expect. This video tour will help answer some of your questions and help you feel more familiar with your surroundings. This is your personal virtual tour of St. Thomas More. A typical school day begins here. If you take the school bus, it will drop you off in this central location. When you enter the building, you will likely find yourself moving towards the central hub of the school, the Forum. Whether you walk, get dropped off, or take the bus, you will use the Forum to connect yourself to many different room locations in the school. Here, you will be in close proximity to the cafeteria, as well as the main office and attendance office. Usually, the first place you will go in the morning is to your locker. Your locker is your space to safely stow your personal belongings, such as your jacket, book bag, textbooks, binders, lunch, and personal electronic devices. You will be assigned a locker by the school. Learn and practice your lock combination and keep your combination to yourself. You will not bring your book bag to class. Any non-uniform items such as sweaters are also not permitted in the classroom. Get to know your surroundings, especially the school clocks, so that you will avoid arriving late to class. Depending on your schedule, you'll have classes in various parts of the building. Your schedule may take you to the gym, music room, art studio, or tech wing. You may be in a computer lab, portable, or just a regular classroom on one of the floors of the building. You will get to know many teachers during your time at STM. Your teachers care about your well-being and want you to reach your full potential. Usually, teachers work out of department workrooms. They will let you know where you can reach them if you have any questions outside of class or on your lunch. It is important to map out where your classes are and learn the best route to get there. You may not have time between classes to go back to your locker, so it's a good idea to carry your books, for example, for periods one and two, where it is permissible. Your room number is a good indicator of where your class is located. Classes that begin with one are found on the first floor. STM has three floors. If you have classes on the 200s, it can be found on the second floor. Classes in the 300s are on the third floor. Know your washroom locations. There are multiple washrooms in the school for student use. Get to know their locations so that you can find the closest one to your classroom. One of the most important spaces in the school is the chapel. This sacred space is available for quiet reflection and prayer. You'll have an opportunity to visit the chapel with classes for small liturgies and reconciliation. If you're curious about the chapel or the faith life of STM, the chaplain is the person that you should get to know. The chaplain is involved in planning school masses and other charitable events organized through the student body. The chaplaincy team is a great place to get involved and meet students from different grades. Remember, your chaplain is also there for you as a source of emotional and spiritual support. This is where the arts come to life, music, drama, and a classroom all in one facility. During concerts or plays, this space transforms into a venue of artistic talent. 
If you are interested in the arts, reach out to the teacher advisors involved in various programs and pay close attention to the announcements. At some point in your high school career, you'll take a phys ed or fitness course. You'll be required to change into your school phys ed uniform. You will have the opportunity to do so in one of our designated change rooms. The change rooms are located close to the gym and fitness center. The fitness center offers memberships and in addition to the games that our school will host throughout the year, the field and the gym are accessible for intramurals. When we host teams from other high schools in the city, the gym and the field transform into hubs of school spirit. You could represent your school or cheer on your friends. Interested in the morning announcements? This is where the magic happens. Your day will begin with O Canada, opening prayer, and announcements from the studio. Seymour Live will deliver your daily news about all the exciting things happening at STM. If you are interested in the technical aspect of the announcements, or you think you would make a good news anchor, get in touch with the teacher advisor at your school. The Learning Commons, sometimes called the library, is a place of resource, support, and inquiry. In addition to the thousands of books shelved here, your teacher librarian and library clerks are here to assist you with questions and inquiries from homework to culminating activities. You can access the Learning Commons on your lunch. There are desktop computers and space designed for collaboration and group work. You will also visit the Learning Commons with some of your classes to learn about research requirements. Remember, this is a classroom, so you must always be in full uniform when entering. At lunchtime, you'll find yourself in the cafeteria. This is your designated area to eat your lunch, chat, and socialize with your peers. You can purchase food here, bring your lunch, or bring in food purchased from outside. The cafeteria is an extension of the classroom. You must be in full uniform here, and remember to clean up when you're done eating. At different points during the year, the Student Council will be running events, selling tickets, as well as spirit wear. Get to know the location of the Student Council office. For those Grade 9s who aspire to be part of Student Council, you'll have your chance to run for the position of Grade 9 Rep in September. The main office and attendance office are places filled with important resources. Get to know their locations. The secretaries in each office are very helpful and have a wide array of information. If you have questions or concerns, the office can help direct you. The attendance office is where you go to report to clear your absence, get a late slip, or pick up important correspondence. In the attendance office, you will find the offices of your vice principals. You will be assigned a vice principal based on the grade or alphabet. Your VPs are there to help and guide you. Stop on by and get to know them. In the main office, you'll find the principal's office. The principal is the lead teacher. They spend their busy days putting your safety, faith, and achievement at top priority. They love to know their students and will get to know you over your time at STM. Student Services, otherwise known as Guidance, is an important resource center that will connect you with your guidance counselor, public health nurse, and the school social worker. Your guidance counselor will help you with your timetable and give you advice about your academic pathway. They, like your classroom teachers, prioritize your well-being and they are there for support should you need to speak with them. The resource room is filled with teachers and educational assistants who will provide you with a plan and support to meet your individual academic needs. If you have an IAP, your special education resource teacher will be in contact with you at the start of the first semester. The student success room is home to the student success teachers. The student success teachers support any student who may find themselves in risk of not being successful. Student success can help you find a tutor, help you stay or get back on track in your classes, as well as work closely with teachers, counselors, the social worker, and administration to help support you when needed. That wraps up our tour for the day. As you begin your high school journey, remember that there are many supports in the building to help you succeed in your secondary school adventure. We are looking forward to seeing you in September and welcoming you as a member of our amazing community.